I feel like, you know, ethnic women never want to be darker. And I just, I was just a little insulted by that. A simple necklace, like a lot of thought went into this and even how the circles. All I'm saying is that it's not brain surgery, you know? Okay. Don't make it into brain yeah. surgery. I understand what you're saying. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where the girls are transformed into celebrities like Angelina Jolie, Marilyn Monroe, and then they have a styling challenge during judging and the final photos. Wow, I was shocked. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. You know, as a top model, you guys need to learn how to take on the persona of someone else. So today, we're gonna turn you girls into some of the world's most famous celebrities. Oh, One of the most important people on today's shoot okay. is your photographer, Andrew Eccles. Tell the girls some of the celebrities you work with. Some of my favorites. Tyra, I knew it. Probably Tyra, <laughs> Brooke Shields, John Travolta. So I photographed all sorts of people. Katie, mm -hmm. you are going to be Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Mercedes, you're gonna be Billie Holiday. Okay. April, Catherine Zeta-Jones. I love her, oh my god. Shandy, you're gonna be Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Sarah, you're going to be Angelina Jolie. Oh my god. Camille, you're gonna be Diana Ross. Oh, that's so <laughs> Janasha, you're gonna be Salma Hayek. Oh, oh sweet. Joanna, Audrey Hepburn. Oh, oh okay. Siamata, who else could you be but Grace Jones? Okay. Jay just told me that I'm being made over to be uh, Grace Jones. I don't feel like I look like her. I said, she's is this not what's happy. happening to me? Why? And just all these thoughts were coming in my head, like, this is not going to be good. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Let me explain like, something to you. Yeah. Grace represents a fashion icon. That's somebody that Janice used to work with. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you're going to have, like, the biggest transformation because you don't look like her. Tyra comes in making sure that she knows, hey, you're about to be Grace Jones, whether you like it or not, so. Started me off by airbrushing me. It was like a personal project to him turning me into Grace. Uh, <laughs> when I saw them spray painting the face, I'm like, you know, this reminds me of something. <laughs> we've been here before, actually. Yeah, we've done this before on the show. They they love this. They love spray the spray paint, the airbrushing. Are you feeling it? I'm I don't feeling know. it. Okay. That's cute. Audrey Hepburn. She's one of my favorite um, movie stars of all time. That looks great. Good. I think yeah, you might have picked cute. Selma for me because she's short and I'm short, but she's definitely got the the T as far as the TNA goes. <laughs> They're transforming them into celebrities. Okay. That's that's fine and all, but what if you don't know anything about that celebrity? How are you supposed to embody someone? you know nothing about it's like what if they were like hey you got to be zordon from the power rangers what if by chance you happen to not know who zordon is i know right it's actually shocking most people will know who he is because he's he's like an icon of our generation if you're a millennial you definitely know who zordon is power rangers you guys is power Ra he's in the, the medical tube he sleeps in there okay <laughs> we all know who zordon is let me know in the, if you watched the Ivan Ooze movie. That was a good one. It's almost got a very curvaceous little body, so you're going to have to... You're going to have to walk. Janasha, you had a difficult challenge. Salma's confidence, it's not the easiest thing to find that. Try uh, a little lean out into the camera. Even this photographer, no. This photographer is struggling to... I feel like he just, he's like, eh. I'm not really sure about this. Try uh, a little lean out into the camera. Now, Janasha, the less teeth you show, the more you look like Selma Hyatt. Do this, do this. Oh, 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 oh. What? Huh? It's a two-way street. It's not for me to run all the way over there and grab everything from you. It's good. You like that, huh? You want to? I got some more. <laughs> she probably hasn't been in front of the camera very often. She's going to have to work very hard from this point on. She's having fun. Here we go, Sarah. Tougher. The key to portraying Angelina is, is being Angelina that Jolie. Really raw sexuality. Like, don't be afraid to see like that. So you can get that. 
muscle and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, the muscle. <laughs> there you go. Sarah, I sort of sense that she's holding back just a bit. Can you do more sinister, oh, Sarah? Squint the eye. Squint like you're mad. Okay, what are what do we think so far? Did we see Angelina Jolie? Did we see Salma Hayek? Or did we did we see a Halloween commercial that never aired? I know that this is not the Marilyn Monroe look. I just know that they're not gonna keep this wig on her. <laughs> and she's wearing a business suit. What is she gonna go pitch to Shark Tank? She's like, I want th I want ten thousand dollars for a ten percent investment in my company today. I just feel like I'm gonna faint. I'm just really tired. But I'm, I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> Grace Jones, she's like 20,000 shades darker than me. I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. I love her. Good. And Good. Shandy, inhale a little. Yeah, inhaling nice. will make you Shandy, Nicole you Kidman. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Great. Good. Oh, this is so Ooh, I mean, she looks good. Diana Ross. She's definitely a strong diva. And I see myself in the same light. I mean, she's doing great. That was really, be that was beautiful posing too. She looks good. She's embodying it. Whoa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you look crazy. It's awesome. Seymour was worried. Like, I know that Seymour probably wanted to be like a more glamorous person. But what I think of Grace Jones, she scared the crap out of me. Are we ready, Catherine? Come on, darling. This way, just a little bit, April. Good. Beautiful. April. She seems Who's she to, supposed to be? be that unique find that turns up now and again. Who's, who's that? Who, what celebrity was she? I don't know. She looks cute, though. She looks cute. This way, just a little bit, April. Oh, Good. she's Catherine Zeta-Jones. Okay. I don't know that much about her. This photo shoot, I really need to up my game to make sure I stay here. Good. Turn back to me. Oh, this yeah, put your arms back because you're covering your breasts. Stretch your leg yeah, out a little bit okay. more. Yeah, okay. Nice. The booty's not out, though. Stick Good. the booty. You're doing like this, so you're not really getting anywhere. If you go way back, okay. then you're like this. Okay. Yeah. I really was trying to be strong during this whole photo shoot. I see, but I like how Tyra is directing her and, and visually showing her. Has anyone seen the Blonde movie? That was, it was a, like a biopic, I think, of Marilyn Monroe, but people were really upset about it online. I haven't watched it personally, but people were pissed about the portrayal of Mar Marilyn Monroe. The wig doesn't look too bad now that we're seeing it here, so we'll just have to see the final photo and how it turns out. Thank you, my dear. Strong. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. At first, I was really scared. I'm like, I hope I come off looking like her. All right, darling. Here we go. Good. The legs like that are good, but then maybe the upper body is still sort of straight and tough. Yeah, good. Open your legs more, Seymour. Uh, nope, nope. Love the direction. Great. I tell you, this is like going back in time. Tyra's good. doing great. Just real. Go for it. Gorgeous. I didn't think I looked like Great, her, it's positive. I, I do. We got it. You're done. Seriously, what a, what a good atmosphere. Positive reinforcement, good feedback, good direction. Tyra's visually showing the models what to do. This is awesome. Great to watch. Again, the concept's not my favorite, but I do like the atmosphere on set. I think it's good. This photo is so important to me because my, my second and third were iffy. Just sort of... Cup it with, uh, with your hand. Yep, good. You look beautiful. Let me just have a look at this. Wait for one second. Mercedes seemed nervous. I detected that she was even shaking just a little bit. Oh. I was nervous because I oh just God. didn't know if I can capture Billie Holiday's um, essence. Swell up with the, like, the sexiness like this. Like, I could just... <sighs> good. See, that's great. There you go. That helped Mercedes. her so much. It's just exactly yeah. what we need. Nice. The photographer is awesome. Good. She's done it. Got it. Excellent. This is amazing. Seriously. I pray to God every Love it. time I ask him to put a little oomph in for me. The photographer is very calm, gives great uh, feedback, compliments the models. Tyra's jumping in to give direction and it's really helping the girls. Overall, this was an A-plus photo shoot. Again, the concept, 
you know, it's not my favorite personally, but I would at least the girls were treated with care and compassion. And I think that that overrides the very questionable uh, photography photography concept. Let's head to the judging and see the final photo, shall we? Now it's time for your individual evaluation and Betsy's going to administer your test. You're going to be tested on your ability to accessorize your little black dress. Okay. You all have the same stuff in your pile. Pick out what you're gonna put on. Show me your style, but make yourself look like you're going out on the town in New York City. Be ready and finished in 60 seconds. Okay, that's ready, cute. Accessorize set, the dress in your own go. style. Like minute Three, and a half, maybe. Two, okay. one, done. Okay, Joanna. Well, I wanted to keep it simple and um, just have my pearls and my simple black dress. I think it works. You could be going out to dinner in London, Paris, or or New York. You're gonna buy us a ticket. This was your best shot outfit? on your um, impersonation day. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. Very okay. So, what do we think on a scale of? Aj on a scale of Joanna and Audrey Hepburn, what do we think? <laughs> I like the use of light and that it's black and white. It's it's well done, I think. Audrey Hepburn. I think your eyes look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, boom. Okay, April. You're looking a little Kmart to me. Kmart. The, the dress. Oh, listen, listen. Kmart is very popular in Australia and New Zealand. I didn't in America. It's like stores are closing over here. It, you, Kmart used to be popular, but not so much anymore in the U.S. But I went to Australia. They love Kmart over there, and in New Zealand. By the way, New Zealand is beautiful. I love I love my Kiwis. Okay. The the dress looks better without, without the scar. That looks better like but that. But that's her personal and style. Christina. Oh wow, that's a that's a beautiful shot. I love the light. This these are great photos. She, I love this dress. Oh my God, where's that dress from? That's gorgeous. The magazine cover. Let's read this. Looks or personality? What's more important? I wonder. I wonder. Well, for me, it's definitely personality because I never got by on my looks. Trust me, my looks were never. It wasn't. A point of contention, anything like that. Does she have what it takes to be on top? To on top of what? Her schoolwork? Global warming? <laughs> Can we be more specific here? Christina Aguilera? <laughs> it's Catherine Zeta yeah, Jones. It is Catherine. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best I've seen. Your eyes look mm -hmm. fantastic. The obvious thing for you would, of course, have been to be who? Lucy Liu. Herself? Lucy Liu. But I wanted to challenge oh, okay. you and push you. I feel like Captain Zeta Jones might have a little something, something yeah. in her, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes, come on down. I chose the pearls and the purse for a classic look and then the scarf for fun. Bad prom, baby. Can you take it all off? Take the scarf what? to tie your boyfriend up with. Take your hair down. Go back to your station and really think about it this time. Go back. Look at that. Did she say? Did she say? Did she just say, go really think about it this time? You gave her 60 seconds. You told her it's your personal style. And then you're like, you know what? No, just go back. Go think of something else. That's not your personal style. I just don't understand. Like, yeah, we put her the scarf. We did. It was an option for her to choose from. We did tell her. We told her personal style and choose what represents you as a person. But at the same time, like, why would she... <sighs> Why would she do that? I don't understand why they're doing this to me. Like, just trying to make their dreams come true. Just trying to make them be on top of America's America, of, on top of America, like the country of America. And then she comes out in this scarf, in a purse. Who wears a purse? Don't they have assistance? My God, like, why are you walking around holding things? I need a minute, please, you guys, please your hair down go back to your station and really think about it this time Ooh, look at that got it gorgeous wow we have your picture 
I absolutely love this photo. The photographer did an amazing job. And Tyra's direction really did help. I feel like when you have a good environment, positive energy, you get good photos. And this is a good example of that. Lady sings the blues. Yeah, Billie Holiday. The good thing about you is that you gave little changes with each frame. It's like instinctual for you. Okay, up next we have Shandy. I chose the scarf. I just want to add a little bit of texture to the to the dress. I always think that models, when they tie things around their waist, they're just hiding a large ass. <laughs> I say take, take off that purse. And the senorita shawl. And the shawl. Hasta la vista, baby. Why don't so you go friend. grab that pearl bracelet grab and take that pearls. ring off? Good choice, T. It's like Alice in Wonderland now. Mm -hmm. Okay. On so, so the whole purpose of this is just for them to be like, you know what? Just put the, no, just take that off. It's your personal style, but it's personally what we want for you to look like. Now, um, take that thing. You look hideous. Um, now take the, put the bracelet on right there. Um, just, can you cut your hair and dye it? And then just, uh, shave your arm hair and, um, just wax your eyebrows and okay and now you look beautiful thank you they're actually taking away everyone's personality from their own looks that's what they're doing so there's no individualism on this show it's just about being like everybody else conforming to what the standards of the judges are that's pretty much it why don't you go grab that pearl bracelet grab and take that pearls. ring off good choice t that good, she's like good choice tyra on park avenue and this is your best shot Wow, this photography is incredible. Great job. I love this textured background. Beautiful, soft colors, and the lighting is great. It's overall a great image. I'm not really loving the fake magazine text and things like that, but I mean, at least it's simple. And it it works with the, the photo. It's simple enough where it doesn't, it's not like, that bad. I love her pose, her facial expression. The outfit is stunning. The colors, the green and the neutrals. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Who's that? Nicole Kidman. Yes. You nailed who you were meant to be, but it looks a little stiff. Sarah? It's kind of a messy look. Take your hat off. <laughs> Take the hair down. Okay. You need a hoop earring now. It's very Sophia Loren. Yeah, look at that. She's like, now it's better. Yeah, model. model. Here's your best shot. Not, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Um, yeah, the lighting in this one, and it's a bit saturated, too saturated for me. Definitely like the more neutral. They should have done a whole concept based on the last photo. Neutral tones with like a couch or something textured background that would have been so beautiful like a whole theme everyone gets like these soft colors with elegant gowns that would have been that would have been great i'm not seeing angelina jolie but am i mad at this model no because she's not angelina jolie so she's i think she's just doing what, it, what she needs to do to survive in this competition and i respect that so but what do you guys think have the girls been doing pretty good with embodying these celebrities your eyes like you had a hard time putting intensity into them. Camille? I decided to use this silver chain, and um, I like it because it actually She's my gorgeous. Neck. And um, I chose a ring because the shapes are circles, as you see circles here. It, it would show a little bit more confidence, maybe, if you just said, I chose the necklace because I loved it. A simple necklace, like a lot of thought went into this, and even how the circles. All I'm saying is that it's not brain surgery, you know? I, Don't make it into brain I, surgery. I understand what you're saying, but um, I want to be right. It, uh, Ex sir, excuse me, let you her, had to what? She's trying to cover the bases, like, okay, I chose this intentionally because of the shit, and then he's like, ma'am, 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 in order to be confident, I'm just gonna speak for you, in order to feel confident, just say that you like the necklace, be basic. You give the thesis statement, or you say, oh, this is cute, I like the color of it, they're still going to say you that you look like a pedestrian on the streets of New York. Going to prom by yourself. There's no there's no winning, no matter what you say or you don't say. That's what I've learned after watching the show. They're not even happy with how the girls explain things. It's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Like, even her just saying, like, two sentences. Yeah, this had circles in it. He's like, my God, what are we performing? Surgery? Are you at the hospital? Like, are you going to make me sign um, a medical waiver? Are you going to take my blood pressure and um, ask me what my symptoms are? I oh my God, please, it's not brain surgery. 
You had to impersonate a famous person. Here was your best shot. Wow. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. This photographer knows what he's doing. I mean, look at these images. The lighting is beautiful. The, the background, every background was done so well. It complements the image, the color of the background. This is a great photo shoot. I'm extremely surprised by this photo shoot. It's, I, I was wrong. I was wrong about it. I was wrong about it. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I think because of the lighting and how professional these photos look, it really saved this concept. I feel like had any other photographer shot these, who knows how they would have turned out. Because a good photographer can make all the difference. Call me Miss Ross. Essence, wow. here we come. It's our personal style, remember? I love hats. And the belt, because I felt like I needed something to Just say you liked it. You look confused. Bring up your confidence. Can you do me a favor and remove the hat? And the belt. And the belt. Can you take off the belt. earrings? Yeah, lose everything. <laughs> that, you are so elegant. I, I don't know how to do see. elegant so yet. so elegant. You know, I want to see America's Next Top Model, and I don't want to see America's Next Top Street Model. So you had a, your photo shoot, <gasps> and here was your best shot. They're like, you know, we want your, con they keep talking about confidence, and yet they will, they do things to directly lower the model's confidence just take, remove every oh the hat my god you look like a street model you, <laughs> you guys i'm this photographer my god he took this concept and he made it work i must say the photographer of the year of the they, they should have brought this photographer back for all the other photo shoots these are great when she said street model i thought of aladdin i'm like he he's he was in the streets and he look at he's a prince now that one jump ahead song in aladdin it's fire. It's a fire song. Go look it up. Go go on Spotify. Look it up after this. You'll thank me later. Katie. I wanted to keep it really simple because I think it's a gorgeous dress and I didn't want to take away from it. Yeah, I like the fact that you thought of a certain era, you know, with the whole mod thing. This is your best shot. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. The, great. This is great. She She's posed beautifully. I like the shape that she created with her arm and her legs. The background is great. The lighting is perfect. This photographer, I, this photographer needs an award of some kind. He took this very questionable, very questionable concept and he transformed it into this masterpiece. Oh my God. This, this is how you know this is a good photographer who cares about his work because he's not showing us these, he's not like tossing in a test shot or some like weird, like one of her blinking. He actually cares about his work and how, how it's portrayed. And you can tell it's a photographer who's very talented. He's not going to show you whatever photo. So he's, every photo has been so good, very consistent. We're really, see, this, this is going to be a hard elimination. I don't know who they're going to choose. You were Marilyn. You look like a beautiful guy here. There's something about it that's a little no. bit drag. I've been around drag queens and they wish they looked like that. Okay, see you tomorrow. I wanted to think 70s with the headscarf, like where I like Mary Tyler Moore. Your Guns and Roses though, not Mary Tyler right. Moore. Right. I'd like to lose the earrings in the uh, bag. Okay. The belt yeah. doesn't go with the scarf. See, now oh, that's no. very low. It's, what is this? Parmen? Gypsy. 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 That's what it is. That's yeah. totally my style. Thank you. <laughs> that's totally my style. As they just had made her remove everything that she chose as her style. Wow. This photo. I'm telling you guys, this photographer did not come to play. This photographer came with the best photos ever. Every single time. I love these. Love, love, love these. Every picture is... I love seeing every picture. Ooh. Whoa. Nice Grace Jones. 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 Can we have a close-up? Wow. <laughs> you look like a Nubian space goddess. I gave it to you because I knew that you could handle it. Grace would be proud. Okay, thank you. How are they going to pick who gets eliminated? This is a tough one. Even, I don't even know who's going to get eliminated for this one. With pictures like that, you know, those are going straight up on my website. Using today's sponsor, Squarespace. These pictures would look beautiful. Like if you go on my Squarespace website, that's all you would see. Just, just those photos right there. Like this is all I took. Just the one photo shoot. 17 different models, but look at that textured background. 
looks beautiful and Squarespace will make it look even more beautiful because you have a beautiful template. You'll get to choose how you want your photos to look, how large and small you want them to look, how you want them stacked, what kind of image gallery you want them to be. I mean, there's so many choices and Squarespace makes it easy. With just a click of a button, there are you can select any type of feature that you want. And the thing I love most is that they have drag and drop features. So if you do want to ever update your pages or if you're a photographer and you have a portfolio, you just click a button, you upload your photo and it auto updates so you can see how your website looks. And it's just as simple as that. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. I love Squarespace. <laughs> I wasn't happy with Samara on set when she found out that she was going to be Grace Jones. I feel like, you know, ethnic women never want to be darker. Uh -huh. Never. Thousands of girls want to be here, and you're uh -huh. tripping up that we're going to be Grace Jones? Grace is like a fashion icon, gorgeous, beautiful black woman, you know? Oh, and I just, I was just a little insulted by that. Oh. So Tyra says she feels insulted, very, very insulted, on behalf of Grace Jones by Ziamara not being excited that she was going to be Grace Jones. Let me rewind and hear what she said. Jay just told me that I'm being made over to be uh, Grace Jones. I don't feel like I look like her. I said, is this what's happening to me? Why? And just all these thoughts were coming in my head like, it's not going to be good. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Hmm, okay, so I just feel like maybe she just thought she really just doesn't look like her. So that was her own explanation as to what she felt about being picked as Grace Jones. Camille. This picture is absolutely gorgeous. I see Camille and I see Diana Ross. But another thing you have that Diana is known for is a diva attitude. And the most beautiful thing about the top models that America loves is being humble and being modest. Congratulations. She was just You're explaining the birds. Becoming America's <laughs> next top model. Well, okay. Janasha and Katie, please step forward. I only have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the woman that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Janasha, your Selma Hayek rendition was absolutely beautiful. But if you have something a little bit less than others, you gotta overcompensate. And I feel like you lack that. Lack what? Can you be more specific? It's very vague. It's like they never go into specifics, but they're, but they're like, you just, you need that thing that the models have. And you're, you just don't have it. I'm like, is it, can we find it on Amazon? Uh, can we order online? What's going on? Like, is it in-store pickup? Katie, your Marilyn Monroe rendition was gorgeous, but we feel like, is she strong enough to handle this business when it is constant critique and constant rejection? That's true. The judge looking again. at one woman's picture, and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. She pulls out her own picture. She's like, it's me. Katie. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Bye, love that. I love when they this just walk out. This house is totally going to suck without me. This house is going to suck without me. I get here, so I never thought about what I would do after this. I'm going to go back to slinging chicken wings, get hooters, and back to my friends and just being the happy person that I am. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.